I'm Dr. Amy. And I'm Ashley. And we're going to get you back, back in, in the, the game. game. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Kanata, and I'm from Phoenix Spine and Joint. And if you just had your hip replaced, congratulations. You came out the other side. You probably started with a bunch of pain and now you're on the other side and you're into rehab and you're probably wondering, when do I start rehab? The answer to your question is that every surgeon is a little bit different in terms of when they recommend um, rehabilitation for your total hip replacement. Here at Phoenix Spine and Joint, our hip surgeons actually recommend that you take the first few weeks to really focus on healing yourself. That doesn't mean you're going to be inactive, but you're not going to start formal rehabilitation exercises for the first two to three weeks. And I say that because it depends upon your surgeon. Some surgeons say three, some surgeons say two. So what can you do in those first few weeks? One thing that you can do while you're resting, you're going to probably be spending a lot of time laying around or resting comfortably. One thing that you can do is make sure that you're setting a timer to get up every hour and walk around for at least 10 minutes or so. That will help circulate your blood through your legs and help promote healing. The other thing that you can do when you're not up and around is some simple, we call them swimmers. You just basically move your feet like you're, like you're swimming and you just kind of paddle your feet um, just like that while you're laying still, it does help promote blood flow and blood circulation. One of the most common complications of having any joint replacement are blood clots. And so in an effort to reduce your risk of blood clots, you wanna make sure that you are moving around, that you're not sedentary, that you're up and you're moving at least every hour. And then while you're resting, you can do those little swimmers with your feet and that will really help reduce your risk of getting any type of blood clots. So first few weeks, good news, you don't really have much to do, but stay tuned because starting week three, we're gonna get you going and get, get those exercises moving and those legs moving and get some started, get some strength back in those legs. If you're watching this and you're already at week two or three, please feel free to fast forward, go to our week three video and watch that and you can start doing your exercises. As with anything, please, please, please check with your surgeon first and make sure that you are clear to start any kind of rehab. 